Jesse Edwards and Cam Corin to jump center. Sparse crowd tonight in Tallahassee. Syracuse controls the opening tip and the early basket good through the contact. In terms of execution, didn't go the way they had wanted to. Florida State won the tip so easily. Both of these teams play a lot of freshmen, both very young. Mintz throws it inside. Edwards with a mismatch on Mills, and that's too easy. Feet inside, Cleveland blocked. It's Chris Bell. Now Gerard with a good look, lines it up, and knocks it down. Look, if I'm FSU, the minute in warm-ups that Joe Gerard stepped onto the floor, I have awareness of what he's doing and where he's at. Miscommunication allowed an easy three-point look. Down low, too easy for Cleveland. This is one of the biggest stories of the game. Can Edwards have production and success against a massive front line? As Bell knocks down the open 18-footer. Cleveland's ability to rebound from the wing. They have to exploit that for second chance. Cleveland from the outside did not hit the rim, but there is McLeod. So Edwards is rushing it. He has the size advantage over Cleveland. Can pose. He can't get you at that release point. Finish more confident. McLeod off the pinball. Coach cleaned that up. So to me, I'm only walking away from this with Coach Beheim speaks for a large faction of coaches that are frustrated with what's going on. We can only complain so much. These are the rules. We as coaches live push lives. So let's figure out how to navigate this thing. Forget complaints. How about solutions? Mills bodies up Gerard. Gerard leaning in. Nice up and under. And Syracuse extending to a seven-point lead. Another offensive rebound. That's seven now for Florida State. Cloud back to Worley. And the three is good. Jalen Worley for Florida State. But the offensive rebounds have kept them within striking distance. Florida State's taking seven more shots than Syracuse. Make it eight. Now Edwards against Corey. Edwards spinning down low, follows his miss, and gets the basket. Waits for the double, kicks it out. Benny Williams, back iron. You gotta win that match. You've got a distinct height advantage, you gotta win it. As McLeod wins the matchup on the other end. Rewarded, Naeem McLeod, catch, dump finish, watch out, Edwards. Business decision, two points for the Noel. Down low, Edwards blocked by McLeod. Uh, he McLeod has been the best player on the floor in this first half. Here's Cleveland. Off the skip at Florida State. Tom House. I respect freshman. it. Like, no, you're not just going to dunk on me. Uh, he McLeod has been dunking on everybody. Miller over to Cleveland in the mid post. And that is the soft spot in the zone. I get McLeod in the dunker spot. Get Cleveland back up to the mid post. There you go. There's Cleveland again. Down low, McLeod, and the Thunder. It's pressed Cam Corn into a bigger role. Sure. Remember Baba Millard and play early in the year. And now McLeod, who's lost some minutes of late to Corin, getting an opportunity and making the most of it tonight. I mean, again, you're not a little hung up on Mom 5'5, five, five, Dan 7'5. Five. That's kind of wild, right? But he's still not the tallest one in his family. That's six six four. Uh, he's there the he tallest again. one tonight. And you just go upstairs where only McLeod can get that basket. Now Syracuse tries it. Miller gets the block on Edwards. Gerard bodies up his defender. Offensive rebound, Edwards. Gerard for three. Good. Joe Gerard with 11 points to lead Syracuse. You probably set him to start the second half, then he's re-energized. Gerard to the rim. And Joe Girard came into this game in a shooting slump. Not tonight, 5 of 7, 13 points. Those three stars rarely blind this season. Green hits the three. His second to triple, he's got six. Torrance, the lob for Edwards, snatches it out of the air, and this time uses his size over Green. Bills. Bingo. Good 
good job of Bell wearing 52 because his jersey got ripped, so he's not wearing a standard zero jersey, but getting back defensively huge. Offensive rebound, Edwards, and the putback is there. Jackson. Back shot deposit slip. It comes to Gerard. Syracuse has had very little in transition. Gerard working on green. And it rolls in. Corn in the high post. Kicks it back out. Cleveland. Strong drive on Edwards. And that's what Matthew Cleveland can do. Benny Williams into the game for Syracuse. Orange in that zone. There's Cleveland in that high post again. And so many options open up when you can get the ball there. Catches, faces, sees he's open, can poses, offers the floater. High percentage opportunity. A cloud in there for Florida State. Catch it, flip it, and reverse it, Jesse Edwards. Battle for the rebound down low. And it's blocked. Syracuse looking to push. Gerard, bounce pass. Mitz, strong, missed the dunk. Bell the follow. The basket is good and the foul. Level of athlete, physicality changes. You can't just meander in to grab rebounds. Everybody's high, gets up like that. You gotta box out, you gotta be physical. It's a job to rebound. And Green off the nice feed from Caleb Mills. A near turnover, Bell able to save it. Wearing the number 52 after his jersey ripped. And that's a nice move inside against Worley. Gerard likes this, seven foot four, McLeod on him. A miscommunication, and that allows him to bang down the three. And Syracuse with the lead for the first time in the second half. Gerard's got five threes. Green drops it off for Cleveland. Beautiful passing down low from Florida State. Here's Cleveland, kicks to Green. He'll launch and connect. Florida State turns it over off the inbounds. Mintz to the bucket, and he gets the roll, and that is his first field goal. Cleveland again in that high post. Now Mills off the shot fake. Back to Cleveland, working on Bell, and a nifty under move by Matthew Cleveland. Mills up ahead to Green. Back to Green. And the three is good. He is fearless, very much like McNamara, who we were talking about a moment ago. The other way, Mintz through the contact. Bell. Offensive rebound, Edwards. Back out to Bell for the lead. And Syracuse up by one. Given the opposition's lineup currently being smallish. And you wonder if Leonard Hamilton is biding his time as Jackson gets the teardrop. Mintz, Dauntless, and one. Let's see if they go back to the high post. They do. Mills to McLeod, who checked back in. Denied at the rim. Gerard over Mills. And Syracuse extending to a four-point lead. Jackson for three. Back iron, tapped out. Comes to Gerard. Up ahead to Mintz. He's got a trailer in Bell. Mintz, the runner, off the window. Cleveland falling down. Over to Green, beating the shot clock. And the rebound to Edwards. Mintz pushing. Mintz driving on Jackson to the left hand. And a block called on Florida State. But you got to start by winning games like this one to build that rhythm. McLeod on the perimeter. Syracuse tried to go inside. Jackson has it. Here comes Cleveland. Look out! Get Mintz going back in attack mode. You've got to find a way to get Mintz back to going downhill. Now, there he comes, downhill on the drive, and finishes at the rim. In college basketball, in this day and age, it's hard to get too far ahead with the player movement we have. Down low, Brown finishes with two hands. And you thought, wow, you can dream on this core. All three of them went on to transfer. Start. Florida State gets two back, 71-64. And they're looking at a double bye currently in Greensboro. Gerard, the three, the dagger. 
been wildly efficient because of it. He's taken everything that the defense has given him. He's played like the leader tonight, no question. The extra pass and the punctuation. And what you got tonight was a consistent Gerard, an elevated Mintz down the stretch, and a little bit of Edwards as well. That's a winning formula. That's the final second is run out, and Syracuse comes to Tallahassee and hangs on for a road win, 76 to 67.